situation, I think, is, is really alarming and could spiral uh, in dangerous ways. But we also met incredibly courageous South Sudanese people who were getting on with it, still trying to send their kids to school, even in the POC sites, like, you know, creating informal schooling networks so that uh, the next generation um, continues to be able to invest in its future. Um, and we have relationships, I think, with various government actors that we hope to be able to build upon. I think there was a lot of mistrust between the Security Council uh, and the government of uh, national unity, the transitional government. And uh, we have the UN General Assembly coming up where a large South Sudanese delegation is going to be coming to New York. I think we will, I certainly personally will see uh, if we can build upon the conversations we've had here, make sure that there has been follow through for what has been um, committed to uh, last night and hope that we have a new partnership. Fundamentally, the, the, um, the calling uh, for peace has to be one kind of felt in the hearts of the leadership and uh, there has to be more accountability for injustice or it's going to be hard to get the people to trust that peace is possible. So ha ensuring that the government follows through on its commitments, deepening the relationship, working in a spirit of partnership with the South Sudanese people, um, hopefully will set, set things on its course. Uh, we've seen very real challenges, um, both in terms of the um, divisions in the country, um, the huge challenges for IDPs, um, and the huge challenges that UNMIS faces. We did, however, also have um, some very honest discussions with the government of South Sudan, um, and the statement that they released last night, which has now been endorsed by the Security Council, um, is a very important statement because it shows a real desire to tackle some of the issues that we raised. Uh, composition, generation and deployment takes time. But as you read again in the communique, by the end of se September, things uh, must get uh, moving on. And you see in the resolution creating the force, authorizing the creation of the force, the, the, the force will be deployed until end of December. We have observed that uh, the South Sudan is a rich country, rich in means that, that they have a, a, big, a big land and fertile and uh, they have a, a quite a uh, big potentiality of development. Uh, but unfortunately, with this political uh, uh, problem, uh, th those uh, development is totally stopped and so suspended. So uh, I, I think that uh, uh, South Sudan would work together with the international community to develop their country. That, that, that is the most important thing to, to, to see.